helpful, so you don't have a, a rope on that robe. Here we go, version 1.0. I'm. There might be version 2. Oh, oh, help wanna be a reporter for the daily newspaper. Learn all about sentence parts and how to write correct sentences. Make a story in each activity, then go to the printing press and print the paper. Edward, clue hounds, and sneaky sneaker mole with baby. Um, but no wait. It's too. It's too many. There's three people mentioned and the baby, but there's four people and the baby. One day, in the word of Wordville, Reader Rabbit read a newspaper ad. Happily, he ran to get a job. When? One day. Where? In the town of Wordville. Who and what? Reader Rabbit. Did what? I read a newspaper ad, sir. Daily Skyrider. Are we going to have to get in a blimp? Or a plane? Uh, y y mate, you didn't even... You haven't even introduced her anyone. You just come and started going straight to a computer. Sign... Oh, we get to sign in. Um, well, he's reading Rabbit, but he needs a name. How about Roger? Lapin? Because Lapin is a... That's a rabbit. Um, so, Roger Lapin. Is he French? Ooh, I like, oh, I like that it's actually like a, got a story in it now. Click on the number. What's the scoop, mate? Oh, Rose. I was reading out a list of learning company stuff and it went on for like five, ten minutes. It was, oh my god! I love it! Welcome to the Daily Skyrider. You're gonna be, wow, he was surprised to see how many mice work here. They're just rats. It's a rat race. You're a level one. We will play one round of level one and then we will ramp up to level four. Yeah, I love like I love it. Like edutainment is the best. Um, you are in level one. Read the phrase that Reading Rabbit shows you. Choose the sentence part that tells you what the phrase is. Choose from these four sentence parts who slash what, did what, where, and when. One day last year. Is this a when? Yay! Ooh! At the party! Could that be where? They're stealing the story from me. One year ago is a when. And wait, we're printing them straight away? Eight boys? Is that a who and what? <laughs> Up the road? Is this a where? Did what? And who knows what's going on here? What's the scoop? Tell me about it. Okay, so now let us... Yes, you've earned a newspaper token and made a story for your newspaper. That last story you made will print in your newspaper when you go to the printing press. Oh my god, it's terrible. Um, challenge levels. Harder words and new sentence part. Why? We do love a good why. Level four. You have a new sentence part to work with. Why? I know it's cute. I also really like how these games are put together. We were really impressed with the last game because, like, the word mine, um, it basically had a, a compound word. So it gave you the first part and you had to do the rest. And we were doing it like we had to have five-letter words to complete. And some of them were just, like, we were just sitting there just being like, oh, what was that? And then we finally, suddenly realized that it just had to be any compound word, like rainbow, and then rainbows. So it became much easier after that. Okay. An hour after midnight. That's a win. Uh, 
accuse the suspect. Is that a did what? On a roller coaster. That's a where. No, it was, I just got confused with that because I was like, that's technically a person because it accused. Oh, it's a when. This sentence fucking weird. There's a lot of whens going on. On the sixth day of the week. That's another. Is it going to give me these weird sentences when we go to the printing room? Because it's going to be bizarre. Oh, I like how it like kind of sorts itself at the end. To help my friend. No. No, to help my friend is not a person, animal or thing. I'm a bear. Um, is that a Y? That's a Y. I was going with the article being my friend, not the help. Beyond the castle is a where. In the West States. Because it was necessary. A useful dictionary. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing these stories. Expertly. Is that it? Did what? No. I guess it's a how. It's like how they did it. They did it expert. Yeah, yeah. Comforted the young lad. They did. That's a did what? Rented a computer. Near the statue. You rented a computer near a statue? To watch the spectacle. They rented a computer near the statue to watch the spectacle. Okay, collected seashells. This is how news works. This is a when. A vacuum cleaner. Sucked. To see a magical show. No, to see a musical show. Is that a why though? Yes. Angered the crocodile. Reckon another three will fit in that bin. Inside an envelope. That's a where? Before the rodeo. In a swamp. Before the rodeo in a swamp? To represent the citizens. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll care. 18 minutes ago. With jealousy. Seriously. With serious jealousy. In ancient times. In the distant past. In the ancient times and the distant past. Perform some somersaults. Who knows who did it though? Okay, here we go. Here's another one. I reckon one more will fit in here. A cartoonist. Sincerely. Married a spaniel. Frozen lemonade. Every Halloween. 
Nothing but net. On Valentine's Day. Okay, is this the end or is there one more required? No, that's it. On to the next step. I love this frog. Oh, hiccup. <laughs> oh, ex ex sexual assault. How long is this ride going for? He doesn't know. Ooh. Sorry, I just sprayed myself down. Um, okay, so I think this is still the same. No, this is the same place. So we're gonna escape and move on to the clue hounds. I think it's when you fill up the bin. It's like, oh, you could restart this. <gasps> we're going out in town. This is a really good animation. Like I said, you know, I've always been saying this. 1993 was the fucking best year for these type of things. You're on level one. Read the sentence on the decoder. Choose the sent the phrase that matches the sentence part that Orville tells you to find. Again, who, what, did, where, when, where. Find the when. After school. Um, the two fronds. What did they do? They took the rods. A friend. No, they. Where? To the lily pad. Okay, and now we move to the challenge levels. And bring in Y. We won't do as many of these because, like, we've kind of seen, like, how far it fills in. And this one doesn't look like it's going to be as interesting. So did what? They set up a computer. Do I? There we go. You need to choose five words of the phrase. Okay, well, they set up a computer. Oh, I so see. You have to do it one word at a time, whereas it kind of grouped things for you the lab someone where the computer no in front oh, because in front of yes in front of because he was so tall his antlers rose he What? His antlers? Ah. Ah. Oh, it tells you the whole story. George Hedgehog, or was that Horge? We'll go with George. Set up a computer lab at the uh, computer lab at the library. The lab contained ten computers in a row. Someone came in the lab at two o'clock to use a computer. He sat in front of the computer because he was so tall. His antlers rose beyond the computer screen. Oh, oh! Who was using it? It was Bill Buck. He's a firefighter. That's doggone good. Okay, we we're playing this right to the end. Good God, yeah. Find the why. Um, on a windy day. Well, would it be the windy day be the why? Or would it be to fly kites? There we go. The where. In a tree. Oh, in a tree. Ooh. A tree is a correct location. The when. Shortly. Where? Into the clouds. On the lily pad, the kite flyer puffed out his chest with pride. How? With pride. 
Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's Jorge. Um, on a windy day, three friends went to the park to fly kites. Because the wind was so strong, one kite quickly got tangled in a tree. Shortly, another kite got caught in the telephone wires. Meanwhile, the third kite flew into the clouds. On a lily pad, the kite flyer puffed out his chest with pride. Who reached for the clouds? Is she in these clues again? Yes, it's the frog. I just want to see all their names. So Roscoe Rat is a garbage collector. Ralph Raccoon, he fixes locks and keys. Jossy now. Frank Frog, he runs the Daily Skyriders building elevator. I'm glad that he's actually got an official drug. Drug? An official job. I need to I need to know your name. Camelita Cat. She owns a clothing store. Yeah, come on, Frankie Frog. Yes! I love how excited they are. New story. On Tuesday, the Lions Club. How eagerly. How. Because if he has long jumps. I don't know, you want long jumps? Just long jumps? No. Just very quickly? I would have thought the Y would have been the... Very... See, like, very slowly. Run quickly. Three words in the phrase. You've chosen a word that's not in the phrase. Find the did what, but nothing. Because she could not run quickly because of her heavy green shell. There is no did what in this sentence. She didn't did what. She could not. No, the did what is the could not run. Oh my god, so I was so close to it. Oh, they're going to give me a new mystery. His classroom. Oh, it's in his classroom. I think his classroom is still a where part. The in is just the, the joining word. Anyway, excitedly. The where in meetings. Tina Turtle. When. Sometimes. Think of it as a as, as, as synactic analysis. Quincy Quayle speaks expertly in his classroom. Bedilla Badger talks excitedly on her. TV show. Ronald Rooster makes long speeches and meetings to impress everyone. Tina Turtle sings loudly in the theatre. Someone else speaks softly at work. So it's not going to be Quincy Quayle. It's not going to be Bedelia Badger. It's not going to be Ronald Rooster. It's not going to be Tina Turtle. Who speaks softly at work? Diana Duck. Bill Buck. Oh, it's going to be Dinah Duck because she works at the library. Good job! New story. Did what? Studied electricity. They studied my job. Um, they took a field trip. But did they really take the field trip or did they go on a field trip? The wind turns. How oh, is it? Turns the windmill, maybe? Yes. They make electricity. The why. 
talk about windmills. No, it became to talk. All right, here we go, here we go. Last week, the fourth grade class studied electricity. The students took a field trip to the windmill farm. The wind turns the windmills because the blades catch the wind. Windmills make electricity when they turn. At lunchtime, a special teacher came to talk about windmills. They had already learned everything they needed to know, so the special teacher was useless. Who came to talk? To okay. Professor. Oh, holy moly. He works at the word mine. He does work at the word mine. It's going to be Professor Al. Yes! Alright, 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 alright. New story. What we got? What we got? Works in the library. Oh, just works. Puts many books and magazines on the shelf. How desperately. In the magazines. Um, how? Quickly. How quickly, indeed. Here we go. What's our new story? Diana Duck works in the library during the week. She puts many books and magazines on the shelves so folks can find them. Yesterday, someone desperately needed some magazines. She eagerly wanted to look at the latest clothing fashions in the magazines. Diana Duck quickly found her three magazines. Who needed them? Sylvia Skunk, she owns the perfume store. Camelita Cat, she owns a clothing store. Henrietta Hamster, she's an artist. Well, Frank Frog, well, Frank's a man. He ain't gonna be it. But you could argue that Henrietta needs it for reference for her art. Um, Sylvia's not wearing any clothes. So it's not gonna be her. It's gonna be Camelita. But I argue, reference. That's doggone good. I reckon two more stories are in there. Did what? Went to Wordville College. Oh, just went? See all the books. Oh, to see all the books. Yeah. When? At lunchtime. How? Masterfully. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Friday morning, Reader Rabbit went to Wordville College. He went to the big library to see all the books. He walked into the music building to listen to some records. At lunchtime, he met a friend in the math building. This friend masterfully teaches at the college. It's going to be the owl. Goldie Hen works at the farm. Sorita Squirrel, she runs the daycare center. He owns the ice cream shop. There we go, Professor Wordville. Oliver Owl. Yes! New story. Why? To help the environment. How? Happily. The folks. Um, they. You know, they. Does what? Removes them. 
Here we go. The town of Wordville runs a curbside recycling program to help the environment. Everyone happily puts paper, cans, bottles, and plastic into their recycling bins. After that, the folks put the bins on the curb. Sometimes they carelessly put bottles into the trash. Someone patiently removes them. It's gonna be the garbage man. So it's gonna be Roscoe Rat. It's not Fran Fox, who's a lawyer who works at City Hall and weirdly looks kind of mannish considering. Oh my god, look at him. He's like, he's like, hey baby, I'm a rooster. I'm the mayor of Mayville. I'm Ronald Rooster. And it's gonna be Roscoe. Roscoe, good job! We're gonna get a fun animation of it being. Wait, it says level one. Oh, two. Oh my god, so we'd have to do it several times for it to... No way, is it, is it going to go in and go level two? Because we, we, fin we finished up to level four, so... Fran Fox looks like a gangster. 100% agree. Okay, look at that. Whoa! Oh, that was a good fire animation. Oh, look at that! We're in a spaceship! And then it's like, hey, you want to do this again? Um, I'm going to be like, let's move on to level three, which is sneak peek. And then we get Edwards, and then we're going to move on to the printing press. We could see those stories from the first one. That's, because I'm guessing we already know what Clue Hounds is going to be. The stories from those. Oh, here's Reading Rabbit. The college years. Hey, honey, I brought our baby. <laughs> oh, let's watch a movie together. And we're gonna watch like a voyeur. Okay, you're in level one. Read the order of the sentence parts that Sneaker gives you. Choose the sentence that matches the order of the parts. Yeah. Okay, bye bye, I'll care. I don't think I'll be going much longer. Okay, so find them in this order. So who, what, did what, where? So. Oh, I like this. There's several different ways of saying it. But. We ra we want Ralph Raccoon walk towards Sylvia Skunk. When? Then he stopped. Who, what, did, where, where, went? So, he went back to the bench after that. He gave Sylvia some flowers when he sat down. That's a weird way of doing it, mate. Um, correct the, the correct sentence that finishes the story. Sylvia Skunk likes pretty flowers. Do I get to see it or is it just going to be like, oh, here we go. Ralph Raccoon walked towards Sylvia Skunk and then he stopped. He went back to the bench after that. He gave Sylvia some flowers when he sat down. Sylvia Skunk likes pretty flowers. <gasps> Cartoon! Give it to me. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at him. Ding. You know what's funny? That is almost entirely a cutscene that I made for Lorna, ba for Lorna Baines. I mean, it was not a full animation. It was just pictures. But he pretty much looked like that. He was kind of a raccoon Ralph, that man. Ralph Raccoon. Okay. Pierre Pig stood at the plate. Oh, it's going to be a baseball story. He swung at the bat. Oh, no. He swung the bat at the ball. Um. Right away rang out a loud... Right around a loud noise rang out. The ball flew into the air. I think Pierre Baseball. I think Pierre Baseball. Pure Pierre hits a hard ball. Ball a long way hits this pig. <laughs> ball is, oh God, yeah. I'd love it if it put it together even if I got it wrong and was just like, look at this English shit that you made. Pierre Pig stood at the plate. He swung at the bat. He swung the bat at the ball. Right away, a loud noise rang out. The ball flew into the air. Pierre hits a hard ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good work. Oh. Oh, Frank. S 
Okay, Sylvia Skunk. This is the same animation. Okay, so she sat on the pit of the night. Um, oh, it's a different thing. Okay, she puts her best perfume on her neck. Her friend came to the bench. Now it's going to still be the same animation, I think. After he sat down, um, he gave her a present after he sat down. That's the same animation. Sylvia said thank you. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, thank. You. Let's see if it's the same animation. No, no, she's spring. She's spritzing herself, and he doesn't have flowers this time. But he has a present. Oh, these two are in love. Do skunks and raccoons do that? <laughs> okay. So it's the same. Okay, so um, a colored ball flew in the air. Uh. It landed on the toy chest. The doors of the toy chest flew open after that, but it landed on it. Um, a drum played in the toy chest. Funny things live in that toy shop. Live in that toy shop funny things. Likes to play in the toy shop. Toy shop toys. Let's have a look at that animation. I'm not going to read that out. We've already... Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting for a toy chest. Okay, so Frank Frog sat in the center field on a hot day. Um, No fly balls came to him all afternoon. All afternoon came to him, no fly balls. No fly boys to him. All came. Um, Frank saw a hot dog in the stands. He ate lunch on the grass. <laughs> ball game Frank's this likes. His hot dog is a ballpark Frank. Hot dog in the ballpark one afternoon. Um, wait, what? None of these make sense. I guess it's going to have to be his hot dog is a ballpark, Frank. Oh, because it's a hot dog, of course. Frank and Furtis. Show me the cartoon. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. An ice cream. Frank. Frank. Not your Frank. Okay. Uh, in Wordville, filled uh, in many toys filled the magic shop in Wordville. I like that phrasing. All the toys came alive at five o'clock. Bonnie Beaver smiled right away. She played on the floor. No, she thumped her tail on the floor. Bonnie loves the toys in the toy shop. Loves the toys in the toy shop. Likes to play the toys in the toy shop. Let's see that animation. Oh, there he is. There, there's a... Oh, um, I, I'm not happy with this puppet and the, the genie. Why is there a genie in the toy shop? Okay. Many toys played in the toy shop again. Bonnie Beaver walked into the toy shop. Am I still on level one? I'm still on level one. I should have moved up to level... Let's move up to level four. Why? Is it going to start us again? It is. Okay. Unfortunately. Bonnie Beaver walked into the toy shop. Uh, with excitement, Bonnie Beaver played inside the... Yes. Okay. This one. I won't read this out so much. I'll just click on them and then read the end story. Um, no. Okay. Um, no. Okay. So it's going to have to be this one. I, I For some reason, I just didn't read it properly. Um, I 
teddy bear, wouldn't it, honey? For for Bonnie, the magic toy shop. Want to go to go to the magic shop with Bonnie Eye. You did not earn enough puzzle pieces. Oh, that seems Oh, Diddy can hear that I'm getting tired. It is one ten. Okay, Pierre Bat uh, as hard as he could. Pierre Pig as hard as he could. Right away. Everyone heard a loud crack. You <laughs> misses. Um Frank Frog reached eagerly over the fence to get to the ball. Mm. Yep, yep, no, oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Because he missed the ball. No. Frank grabbed some food. No. Frank grabbed some food because he missed the ball. That that's number three. Why? Because he missed the food. There we go. They, I guess they change it every time, which is not helpful. Which means I have not earned enough tokens, which means I'm going to have to do it again. Um, okay, what what do you want? Lost a lunch. Someone in the stands. Someone in the stands lost a lunch. Had a lunch taken from someone in the stands. Didn't get enough. Run. Who what? This one. Wisdom ball. There we go. Getting there. <laughs> bored me this cartoon this cartoon bored me made me sleepy this cartoon don't speak for me game I'm sure it looks Ronald Brewster whizzed the ball across the plate the umpire quickly raised his hands to signal strike two on the next pitch Bill Buck swung the bat boldly because he missed the ball Bill struck out this cartoon bored me Oh no! Oh no! One day, Douglas, yes, this one. Da -da -da. Da -da. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Um, why? Ba -ba -da -da -da. Okay. You ready for this? One afternoon, Douglas Duck blew a pink bubble in front of a big fish tank. Because the bubble popped, the animals darted away quickly. They slowly returned in a minute. Because Dolly Duck sneezed, the animals fled like they did before. This cartoon made me laugh. It made me cack myself. I didn't realize we were in an aquarium. I thought we were just at a fish tank. Hacho! When at five o'clock, a puppet danced happily in the toy shop. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, a jack-in-the-box boldly popped up. Where? Um, next to the jack-in-the-box. A genie magically appeared. Why? Because she liked the toys. Bunny Beaver with enthusiasm. No, um, Watch the toys go crazy for Bonnie. Bonnie, all the toys go crazy. Let's watch. Because they like Bonnie, go nuts all the toys. We have watched the toys go nuts for, for her, but we'll just see if it's the same animation. 
At five o'clock, the puppet danced happily in the toy shop. A jack-in-the-box boldly popped up next to the jack-in-the-box and Jeannie magically appeared. Because she liked the toys, Bonnie Beaver thumped her tail enthusiastically. Watch the toys go crazy for Bonnie. Uh, I know, like... It's, it's creepy, that's all. Um, when? In the top of the ninth. There we go. Um, the ball. Hortens. Why? Because she hit her home run. Uh, made a great home run trot, that mighty horse. This horse makes a great home run trot. Trotted Hortense towards home. There's some great, great lines. All right, in the top of the ninth inning, Hortense's horse stood firmly at the plate. The ball flew crazily over her head. Hortense waited for the next pitch with excitement. Because she swung hard, she hit a home run. This horse makes a great home run trot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now nope, missed. Came back. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I didn't see any trotting though. Three more. When? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. When? Yeah, there it is. When? Why? Wonder if backwards this cartoon's going. This cartoon's moving backwards. Backwards this cartoon is going? Here we go, here we go, here we go. As the colourful ball rolled along, Bonnie Beaver watched carefully. A puppet quickly caught the second a second ball after it flipped into the air. Just then, a genie came out to grant a wish. Because of the genie, a ball magically rolled up towards the ramp. This cartoon's moving backwards. Uh-huh. Uh, don't get it. It's too late in the evening. Okay, when? One afternoon. Pierre. You kind of just need to get the first two. Who what? Frank. Smoothly. His tongue. How? Quickly. Why? Because he was still hungry. Yes, we got it. No, okay. Why? He? How? Close. This cartoon laugh makes me. This is a silly cartoon I've ever seen. He's so silly, this cartoon. We're getting close. One more. One afternoon, Pierre Pig hit a long fly ball towards the fence. Frank Frog smoothly shot out his tongue to catch the ball. His tongue quickly brought over a hot dog because he was still very hungry. Frank quickly got a bag of peanuts. This is the silliest cartoon I've ever seen. We've already seen that one. I'm not going to watch it again. Okay. When, one night, Sylvia and Ralph did what? Looked at each other shyly. Oh, it's love. Um, to make her smell just right, Sylvia sprayed perfume on her neck. Oh, she really going all out. Um, when soon, Ralph eagerly sniffed Sylvia's perfume. Um, this one. In a moment, Ralph Raccoon sniffed her perfume eagerly. Why? Because he was in love. Ralph floated gently from the bench. That's so sweet. In this cartoon is happening what? This cartoon seems crazy. Craziest cartoon I ever saw. I want to see this man floating. 
One night, Sylvia Skunk and Ralph Raccoon looked at each other shyly to make her smell, herself smell just right. Sylvia sprayed perfume on her neck. In a moment, Ralph Raccoon sniffed her perfume eagerly because he was in love. Ralph floated gently from the beach, from the bench. This cartoon seems crazy. Oh, yes. Oh, he, he, oh. She knocked him off his socks. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. So, she walks in, level one, becomes level two. She walks past, oh, it's gotten, it's gotten bigger. And then level two to become level three. So, the baby's just getting further away from her, I'm guessing. Oh, no, it's a different pram. Oh, she's running now. It's like a running pram. So now, she's got a bit of a gut now, though. That's kind of weird. Oh, oh, and now, oh, a hoverboard. Okay, I mean, that's one way to get around. Okay, so, now, we go to Edwards. We will not play this very long unless that it does absolutely something brilliant. We'll only play round one because we need to get to the end. Um, I, I want to see what happens at the end. You are level one. Read the story in Ed's computer. Choose the sentence that goes into each blank. Then complete the sentence by choosing a phrase or typing your own sentence. Work with these four sentence parts. Who, what, did, where, where, when. A new teacher came. Oh, it's like Mad Libs. Yeah. A new teacher came. Click on a sentence to choose it. A new teacher came to class today? No. Came to our school today. Farley Fox is his name. Um. Farley Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox. I'm just okay. Um, who, what, when? Last year, he wrote a book. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm just... Um, who? The book shows how to time. He... Let's see. He deemed. Because you can deem something. Um, he deemed his books. His book, Fox on Clocks. It allowed it. Welcome to Bird. I'm just going to see if... I'm just going to go to level four real quick. Good job. I mean, I, I I was selecting things, but okay. Harder words and why. Okay. Ed has a new sentence to work with you. Pierre Pig's performance packs a punch. Last night at the town hall, the Tigers held a club dance. Um, a band, Tina Turtles band, um, the Tipsy Trillers, I named them, they're the Tipsy Trillers, played all night long. Fran Fox did the Foxtrot, Goldie Hen Hang on. What? What's your... Yes. Danced the funky chicken. Strutted the funky chicken. Waltzed. <laughs> Let's see if it lets me. Waltzed. The... What? Hang on. I want to... I'm going to open up the thesaurus. Because I want to see... 
if I describe it in a different way. Thesaur I just need to have an app on my phone that is just the thesaurus. Rather than me going to thesaurus.com. Thesaurus! It's one of those words that just does not work with um, having flubbing from being dyslexic. Because you say thesaurus and it just... No, that's my lisp. Sorry. Funky. Fashionable. Modish. Unconventional. Waltz the unconventional. Oh, it doesn't fit. The hip... Poultry. It allowed it. Pierre Pig danced the polka. Very fast, wildly. Exuberantly. Exuberantly. I think I've spelled that wrong. It allowed it. Um... Who, what, why, did what? Because he was dancing so fast. Because of his wild dancing. Is there something that we can use instead of because? Um, I am literally just... I want other starts to a sentence of because. Because, look, he's it's got because, because. Because, because, because. As a result of. Um, the fast pace. No, it's going to be too fast. <laughs> I was being like, as a result of. Um, owing to the speed. Um, no. For the reason over owing to you no know, seeing since the speed of his polka 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 um. In view of his, um, I've put in wild, but I'm trying to find ex luxuriant, uncivilized, uninhabited. I don't have enough space. Fuck. Um, in view of. Something short as he thrashed fairly. Pierre could not stop. He fell through the door and rolled. Oh no, into. There we go. Ah, we want short. We're not shorter. I think that make, that's a, that's a bit more fun. P 
Pierre's performance, uh, Pierre, oh, sorry, let's start that again. Pierre Pig's performance packs a punch. Last night at the town hall, the Tigers Club held a dance. The Tipsy Trillers played all night long. Fran Fox did the foxtrot. Goldie Hen waltzed the hip poultry. Pierre Pig danced the polka exuberantly as he thrashed fairly. Pierre could not stop. He fell through the door and rolled into that man's pants. But the band played on. Does it, is it going to do anything with that afterwards or is it just going to be like, good job? Yes! I, the things that we could do with this. But we're, like I said, it's unfortunately getting quite late. We've been playing this for quite a while. I think we might play this again, maybe on the grammar hole so we can, especially Edwards, just come up with some great things. But let's check out this printing press. What do you reckon, Reedy Rabbit? Oh, your hair? You got a haircut. Um, oh, I hope that we'll come to the story that I just wrote, Sentinel, because my God. All right, Pierre Pig cooks for great French chef. The world's greatest chef, Pheasant Le Cook, ate at the word Ville's Chez Paris, earned by Pierre Pig. Uh, not quite yet. Uh, oh, this was the finest French dinner I've ever eaten, Pheasant Le Cook said. No wonder pigs eat like pigs. Their food is so delicious, one cannot help but eat it. Let's see, any of our other clue hounds. Who takes out the bottles? Oscar Rat. One night, Sylvia Skunk and Ralph Raccoon looked at each other shyly. Ooh, we're actually going... Saucy. Sylvia sprayed perfume onto her neck. In a moment, Ralph Raccoon sniffed her perfume eagerly. Because he was in love, Ralph floated gently on the beach. This cartoon seems crazy. Oh, oh, Sentinel, you lucky boy. Are you ready for this, Sentinel? I wrote the words to, I wrote the Mad Lips part of it. Um, Pierre Pig's performance packs a punch. Last night at the town hall, the Tigers Club. Oop, went too far. Held a dance. The Tipsy Trillers played all night long. Fran Fox did the foxtrot. Goldie Hen waltzed the hip poultry. Pierre Pig danced the polka exuberantly as he thrashed fairly. Pierre could not stop. He fell through the door and rolled into that man's pants. But the band played on. I'm curious what... I, I, I would love to see what um, format hitting print would actually do. But I think it would probably just be like have a, a like the head of the paper and then be like with Ro by Roger Lapin and then be like what's the scoop um but uh it is one of those things I'm wondering if I could actually hook up DOS box to print to file in you know Microsoft's print to file that would be wild um educational focus tell me i mean no but we we know this is this has all been about sentence structure and because it's late at night i have been particularly foolish oh, i could save the newspaper look it lets me choose a print printer port i could do something nuts with this anyway save my newspaper i could save it to the hard disk um feral thra feral thra that's cool. Anyway, we will. You'll not be able to print these stories again. This is good. I like this. I really like this. So, in terms of what we have left from Reading Rabbit, I think there's still more Reading Rabbit to find because I think it then continued on to the Windows 95 era. Um, we still have Reading Rabbits ready for let um, Reading Rabbits ready for letters. Um, but we did read a whole, like, let me just bring up, let me bring up the article. Reading Rabbit Game. I'll just go for Reading Rabbit Games. Just give me every game in the Reading Rabbit series. We don't need the wiki for the entire series. All right. Reading Rabbit. It started in 1983. So, products in the franchise. Reading Rabbit and the one the fan sorry the fan 
the fabulous word factory that came out in 1987 re-released as talking reader rabbit re-released as reader rabbit wonderlux i think technically that's what oh aka reading rabbit so that's the first one we played so we've played that math rabbit we've not played that i need to find that writer rabbit we've not found that oh but that was re-released as reader rabbit 3 deluxe oh no there's another version that's for for windows so we probably play this is probably technically writer rabbit yeah remade as a writer rabbit in 1993 but i'm curious what like 1986 i want to see what the earlier version of this looks like because this this current version's great but i think we also need to play the windows version as well because i need to see more of this because i've been enjoying it reader rabbit 2 we played that came out in 1901 there's a reader rabbit 2 deluxe which came out on windows 3.x but there is also reading rabbits reading 2 which is this uh, which was that but 1997 so it's uh windows 95 um oh, the one that we haven't played yet reading rabbits ready for letters came out in dos in 1992 it also had a version that oh there's a version 1.1 came out in 1993 but there was also a 1994 version for windows 3.1 uh, reading rabbits interactive Ju reading journey also known as reading rabbits interactive reading journey one re-released as reading rabbits interactive reading journeys for grades K-1. I do remember seeing that in like a scholastic uh cuz I used to get like the scholastic guides. We we very rarely uh what's it called actually got anything from the scholastic guides, but I did love looking at them, especially the game section. Um to be like, I wonder what that'd be like and I never got any of them. Um which now I guess we're going to now. Um re-released as Reader Rabbit Readings aged 4 to 6. Um Ooh, 1999, re-released as Reading Rabbit's Personalized Reading. Intriguing. Um, there was also Reading Rabbit's Reading Development Library 1 for Windows 3.1 and also a Windows 95 version. And there was three more, three more games of that. And then there's Reading Rabbit and Friends Let's Start Learning, which starts in Windows 95. So it's not in Exodos, but again, I can we can get those. Reading Rabbit Interactive Reading Journey 2. Um, and then we've got Reading Rabbit Math Journeys for Grade 1 to 3, a.k.a. Interactive Math Journey. And there's also Reading Rabbit Toddler, titled Reading Rabbit's Nursery in the UK. Um, there's also Reading Rabbit Kindergarten, or Reader Rabbit's Junior in the UK. And then we've got Reading Rabbit Grade 1, Reading Rabbit Grade 2, Reading Rabbit Math, ages 6 to 9. So hopefully we'll get those correct. Uh, Reading Rabbit's Thinking Games, aged four to six. Reading Rabbit's Playtime for Gate for Baby. I almost said for Gaby. Oh, Gaby playing a game. That would have been nice. Reading Rabbit's Learn to Read with Phonics, Preschool and Kindergarten. Reading Rabbit's Learning Creations. Reading Rabbit's Grade One, Capers on Cloud Nine. Reading Rabbit's Grade 2, Mischievous Dreamships Adventures. Reading Rabbit Preschool, Sparkle Star Rescue. Reading Rabbit Kindergarten Bounce Down in Balloon Town. Reading Rabbits Learn to Read with Phonics First and Second Grade. Reading Rabbits Dream Soup Tales. Reading Rabbit on a Mission to Help the Lion Flowers. Oh, now we're just getting cray cray. Reading Rabbits Cart Racing. Oh, no, that's iOS. I don't think we're going to, we're not going to go into the iOS era because I ain't going to get an Apple product just to, and I don't even know if I could still get them. But still. There was also Reading Rabbit Smart and Jump, Reading Rabbit's Math Race, which is on Android, so I could technically you get that f if it's still available. I might be able to get that for me phone and then use Samsung Dex to bring it on the screen. And we will not be playing Reading Rabbit Jump Smarter because that is on iOS, Apple TV, and Mac OS. But that was 2018, so who's still making this? Oh, they were giant working books. And Leapfrog. I remember the Leapfrog le um, learning pads. Never had one. Always saw them. Who's still making these? Because that was 2018. Now it's Encore Software. But this series definitely went from 1983 to 2000. 
and 18 at the last count. And it looks like Leslie Grimm has been involved with it from the beginning. Encore Software, parent company Serrano Ventures, Divisions, Broderbund. Is that Broderbund still going in some way? Anyway, they became sentients and made themselves now. Possibly. We're going to leave it here, though. Yes.